Hey kids, Ham and Cheese here again with you. Yeah, it's been a minute. How about it, huh? Okay. Today we're going to talk about the use of Winlink Express for the Yaesu FT991A. Um, in particular, we're going to talk about Winlink Express on FM. Um, setting up DHF, very simple. Everybody can do that. This is the one that seems to be one of the mysteries of ham radio here. So we're going to talk a little bit about this. We're going to start with the Winlink Express program right here. And you go ahead and open it up and it looks very similar to this. Now, we're going to go over here to open session. And just for the purpose of this experiment today, we're going to select Very FM Winlink. So there we have that selected. Next we're going to go into open session, just like you would for anything else. And as you can see the Vera FM Winlink session opens. It's now up and functional. And here's the Vera FM program itself. Now, let's go through the settings of this, because this is where everybody gets confused. So we're going to start in the FM Winlink session right here. We're going to go to settings, and it's real simple. Vera TNC setup. You're just going to leave this as it is. There's nothing to change here. If you hit update, it'll update, and it'll come through the next time it opens, and it'll reopen itself just like it does there. If you just hit cancel, it goes back to normal. All right, let's go into the Vera FM program itself now. We're going to go for settings, and we're going to go Vera setup. And here you can see the Vera setup. Again, there's really not much to change here. The only thing that would change is you can go from narrow to wide, but there's really no reason to. Just leave it in the narrow setting, and we'll talk about that in the radio here in a minute. The one thing you can change here that's worth changing is the number of retry connections, and set that to 10. That's the maximum you can do in FM. On HF, you can set that all the way up to 40, but there's no reason to. And here it just gives you some other information about Vera FM. Explains that FM wide needs a rig set for 9600 packet operation, so on and so forth. Otherwise, select Vera FM narrow. Just leave it in there. It's, it'll work just the same. Okay. Next setting, we'll go back to settings again. This time we're going to go into sound card. And we're going to look at the options here. So we have a device input option. And we have a device output option. These are the ones that we're going to set for USB. As you can see, we have two options here. We have internal and USB. I already have these set for USB, so we're going to leave them as such. And we'll talk about tuning and things like that here in a moment as well. And then lastly, we're going to go into PTT. And under most circumstances, you would set this at the COM with our enhanced COM port COM3, but for this radio, we're going to select CAT. Again, the COM port, COM3, this is our enhanced port. Our brand is Yaesu. We're going to select FT991. As you can see, there is no 991A. And we're going to leave the baud rate at 9600. These two remain unchecked. For the baud rate, you really only have a couple options. 9600 seems to be the gold standard for this. And we'll hit close. All right, let's take a look at the radio itself now. All right, kids, so here it is, the 991A, and this is what it looks like in the standard setup, waterfall display ready to go. Um, so we're going to go right in the menu here, and as you can see, we can make our selections. We're going to use the selection tool here to show it off. Um, we're going to go down here to number 31 to start, cat rate. And we have the cat rate currently set at 9600. If we wanted to change that, we can. We can change it to whatever. By default, it's at 4800. We're going to leave it at 96. That's because that's what we have set in the Vera FM program. The next one here will be cat RTS. By default, this is enabled. We need to disable this. This is menu 33. And we're going to go on down here some more past the AMCW stuff. 
All right, data in selections. Um, these are always set at normal. Anything you see in blue on this particular radio is the default. We're leaving them as such. Data port select. You can go data or USB. Uh, there's two ports in the back of this radio. There's the data port, which is going to be like a RIDI port, and the USB, which obviously is a USB cable. We're going to select USB because that's what we use. Data out level, left it as is. This is the next one that's important, FM mic select. By default, this is set to microphone. And when you're done using this in FM mode for Winlink, you have to change this back to microphone at the end. This goes to rear. FM out level remains. FM packet select is the DAKY or DACI, I guess they call it. FM port select, again, USB or data. We're using the USB cable. Packet transmit gain, leave as is. Packet mode, leave as is. And then it starts into the repeaters, as you can see. So let's go ahead and fire this thing off. We're going to open up the squelch here, just so we can hear it. And with this also, before we get into that, when you use Winlink FM on these, you have to set the radio's frequency to match what's in the Winlink session. These do not auto pair up like they do for FT8 through WSJTX or even through Winlink for HF. So you have to make that happen yourself. In this case, we're going to use 145.070 as our center point frequency. So we'll open it up again. And we're doing this just so we can hear it. We'll go in, we're going to start our session. And just like that, it's transmitting. We'll stop the session for a second. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab an HT here. Just a Bofang radio. Frequency mode. We can hear it come on. One, four, five, zero, seven, zero. Now we're set for our frequency. And when we transmit again... That's what we'll hear. Now, if we want to test this, if we don't want to transmit to it live, if we go back into Vera FM to the settings and back to sound card that we talked about previously, we can tune it there as well. And we'll get a 1000 hertz tone over the tuner so we can hear our output as well. And this, kids, is how you set up the ASU FT991A for Winlink FM, which just appears to be one of the greatest mysteries in the history of ham radio, I guess. Um, as you know, here at Ham and Cheese, we like to do it cheap and easy, but we went all out on this one, and we went for the Cadillac. Um, and just like when you get the Cadillac, you've got options, and sometimes it takes you a while. This took us just over a week to figure out. And uh, we went through several Facebook groups, several videos online, several other YouTubers, and multitudes of documents trying to figure this out. And we finally were able to get it with the help of one gentleman from our Winlink group on Facebook. So, Matt, thanks to you, bud. I hope you see this. This wouldn't be possible without you, my man. Uh, that's where we're at. So thanks for watching as always. Keep it cheap and easy, just like me. Only this time, ride the Cadillac when you get the opportunity.